I'm going to show you how to wire up your DC layout with a reversing section using a double pole double throw switch and a few LEDs. So let's get going with this right now. I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. On a DC layout, usually you just have run around in a circle and you don't have any reversing sections in there. So I am going to show you how to do that with this double pull, double throw switch and our favorite LEDs with a thousand ohm resistor on it. We're going to use my favorite soldering demonstration with this track right here. And I've put three separate sets of leads in here so I could show you the incoming track, the reversing track, and the outgoing track. And I'll show you how to put gaps in here with the Dremel tool on both ends. And we'll wire this thing up and see how it works. And we'll give you a good indication with the LED so you don't run over and short out your tracks. So, let's see what this is all about right after this. If you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And go to my channel. Click right below the video where it says Tom's Trains and Things. Click on that and that'll take you to my channel page and click on playlists. And that will show you all the playlists that I have. I have them grouped into different categories by topic. So it's easy to find. So if you're looking for something on soldering, you can find it. If you're looking for electrical projects, you could find it. If you're looking for DCC, you'll find it. I have over 40 playlists on there where the videos are grouped into categories so you could find them easily. So take a look at it. We're going to take a 1K ohm resistor and put it on our red green by color LED. And I'm going to put it on one of these small breadboards just to signify someplace on either in your panel or on your railroad, someplace where you could tell that you have a green or red indication in both areas. Now, the idea of this is. If you're coming over here with the locomotive and the LED over here is green, you want this LED right here to be green also. So when the locomotive comes over it, it's not going to stop or it's not going to short out because you have this one backwards. So now say if this was green here and this was red here, you would want to change this section over so it indicates green so you could proceed through here. Now, once you're on this section, now just like anything else in a reversing section, now this is just for demonstration. It doesn't have to be this short and it won't be this short, but anyway, you want your entire train to be less than your section because you don't want to be shorting out this end and this end at the same time with your wheels because then you'll see sparks. So when you're in here on this section here, this one will be green, but this one will be red because you're going in through the opposite direction. So what you want to do is make this track right here red, stay the same as this track right here, which is going to be red. And then two, you can go right through and it's as easy as that. And then once you're going through, you're coming back around this way. That's the whole idea about cutting the gaps in the reversing section so you could isolate that one section and then reverse it so you could go out the other end. We're going to take our Dremel motor tool and put some gaps in the rail right now. All right, there we go. Come on down here.
All right, now we got the gaps in there. Now we have, say these two ends right here are coming off the turnouts, and this is the spot that's gonna be the reversing section. So, so let's see how we're gonna wire that up now. All right, I cut three resistors. They're one K ohm resistors. And I'm gonna put them on these little breadboards here. And you'll see that I have the red and black wires from each section on the LEDs. So what I'm gonna do is put the resistor so it comes off one side and onto the black. You see I did it there and did it here. Now it doesn't really doesn't matter what side you put the resistor on because this is going to be reversing and there's actually two die or two LEDs inside each one of these. So you're going to be on the anode on one side and the cathode on the other. So it doesn't make a difference which side it's on, just as long as you have it on there. Okay, so we got them all in there. Now what I'm going to have to do is get my double pole, double throw switch, this one here, so we could proceed with this and I'll show you how we'll switch this in here. What I've done here is I have each one of these breadboards hooked up the same way. The only thing different that I did, and I'll tell you that in a few minutes, okay, but I have the double pole, double throw switch hooked up on the white one, which is the reversing section. This one is incoming or outgoing, no matter, depending on which way you're going. Okay, I put, tied everything together on the terminal board and I have my transformer over here. It's a little bit out of view. I'm running out of space here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you something here. On one of these, you're going to have to hook up your LED backwards. In other words, on these, on these two right here, I have the resistor on. You can see I have it like that. Now, the way these are hooked up is, let me get it in the right spot. It is simulating that the LED and the resistor is between the tracks, the way I have it wired in here, as you can see right there. Same thing here, same thing here. Now, even though on this side, this track is the positive, and on this side, this track is the positive over here, because we're coming in from different directions on the circle. This and this would still show green at the same time if I hooked them up the same. But we want it to look different. So let me turn this on. So now we have a green here and we have a red here. And that's to simulate when the locomotive is coming through you see the reversing section is green, so we can continue all the way up till we get to the gap. Now we have to stop the locomotive then. And then we have to flip our switch. So this one shows red and this one shows red. That means that these tracks are the same polarity. So if this one was negative before and this one was positive before, this one changed to positive. So we have positive on both sides and then negative on both sides. So we won't short out as we go through the gap right there. Now to get that, I reversed this LED. And the reason I did that, and I'll show that to you on the overhead when I use the meter on here and I'll show you how that happens. But anyway, here we go, we have voltage on it, and we flip the double pull, double throw switch on the inside, and we could change the polarity of these tracks to match 
either this one here or this one here. And we just flip it. And I have another video on a double pull, double throw switch, how to wire it up for reversing. And as you can see on here, it is crisscrossed. So let's do an overhead on here and we'll also show a graphic on this so it'll be clear. But this is what you want to accomplish. Now you could put these, you could put these somewhere on your layout or you could put them on your control panel where you have your switches and where you have your uh, track plan on there to indicate the direction that you have your locomotive going or the polarity of your track at that given spot. And by flipping the double pull, double throw switch, you could change the polarity of your reversing section just like that. In this section, I'm going to show you why we need to reverse at least one of these LEDs in here. Now I'm going to show you some voltage on the track and you'll see that even though I reversed the red and green from on this side to this side because it's going to be on two different ends and you'll see it up on the uh, display here. In effect, the LEDs are crossing the two tracks. So whether this track here is a positive and this track over here is a negative, we're still going to show the same color on the LED. That's why we had to change this around. So we're going to put the red on this track right here all the way through and I'll show you the red and then the black and we're showing 16.43 volts. I'll come over to this section right here, 16.49 volts. Okay, then I'll come over to this section right here and it's minus 16. Okay, so that's where you get the difference. You have the different polarity from one end to the other. That's the opposite ends of the circle. So if I had this LED right here hooked up the same as these two, they would all show green. We'll do this again. Now, this is green, this is red, this is red. So we'll go over here, we'll show this. That's a positive. In the center section, it's negative. And in the end section, it's negative, okay? So that's why you have to reverse one of these LEDs. And that's the only time you would do it in, in this particular situation where you have a circle and you're crossing that circle with a reversing section. So I hope that was clear for you right there. Now these breadboards are valuable tools whenever you're testing out your wiring or experimenting with different things to put on your layout, but I wouldn't recommend using these on your layouts. Now, maybe in a tight situation, you could use the small ones like these and stick them inside your control panel if you want to be changing things around. Once you know the way that you want to wire it, take these out and solder all your things together. Use terminal boards, terminal strips to attach your wires together instead of just using these uh, little breadboards here. No matter how complex or simple your layout is, you'll find LEDs valuable in your layout. Now I've showed you a series of LED videos and I have a few more coming up in the near future, so take a look for them. And I have videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, so take a look for them and we'll see you.